so it all started with uh, with this beautiful mare Cassie and uh, we bought her when she was seven years old she was a, a very potential young horse and we had very high hopes for her how and would you describe her character back then back then I would describe her as very sensitive mare uh, hot you know ever since uh, I got her she was quite hot but very rideable and I really really enjoyed riding her she was really soft and uh, just I had fun riding her for a change after a few horses who mm -hmm. didn't feel like that anymore just it was a pleasure riding her and that's how I fell in love with her mm -hmm. and I was riding her for a year before we decided to buy her mm -hmm. so I it wasn't like a one-time uh, ride and then buy, you know, so I really knew the horse. I really knew her. I'm still friends with her previous owner I knew what I was getting myself into Like she could be completely fine and relaxed and then she would have a moment where she would just snap like out of nowhere nothing happened she could just snap and uh, just would would freak out in the paddock and uh, and just start cantering, going over everything, uh, jumping over you know fence, uh, get the, getting herself caught into electric fences, and just uh, really like hurt herself, you know. Mm -hmm. you know she wasn't as rideable anymore. She got harder on the bit, um, a lot more stronger, stronger, way stronger than she was back then. She could be totally okay, and then one day. One time it would happen that she would hear something, spook, you know, and just uh, just fell and start running, you know, and just she didn't hear me, see me, nothing, you know, she could just run over you. She totally, it's like she has like a blackout, you know, mm -hmm. and she doesn't know where she is, where her feet are, where she's going, you know, and I just quickly became going from one trainer to another, seeking for help and uh, I couldn't really find anybody. And uh, after a few years, I turned to natural horsemanship, different types, you know, everything from straightening trainings to pressure release trainings. I went bitless, brideless, everything you can imagine, and uh, nothing really worked, nothing really clicked. And there was some small improvements, but nothing that you could say, okay, this is now a great horse to ride. I came across an ad on Facebook and for some reason I immediately said okay yes this is exactly what I need and uh, I asked you if this is what you can help me with and uh, you said yes and that's how our journey started and now it's been a year since doing OPP and I've just seen already a tremendous change in her character, behavior, a lot of spookiness has gone away, I feel safe with her a lot more uh, than I did before and uh, now we are just trying to you know improve her even more where we can start riding and jumping again yes because our yeah. goal is to to jump Grand Prix with her yes. <laughs> it's sort of a relief for me because I just feel safer with her you know I just know that she won't react like that anymore and that has made me feel less fearful being around other horses and not anticipating that crazy response you know